Okay, Grimner here. We're going to record a little video showing you how to set up various audio settings, radio settings within the WorldTruth.org WHM Sonic panel. Uh, when you first log in, you'll see you'll see a, a panel just like this one. Um, I've uh, changed it a little bit so you know, you can't see the, the the username on here right now. So uh, let me just um, shut this off for a second, and then we'll uh, or log in from there, and then I'll go ahead and show you the rest of the screen. I just don't want everybody in the world out there looking at what the, what the username is on that. So hopefully nobody saw that. <laughs> All right. So from here, uh, the, the, I, I say from here, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you the big overlook of the screen that's that's there. This is the WHM Sonic panel. This is where you run all the functions of the radio, uh, the the World Truth and RealLibertyMedia.com radio. Uh, you got various settings on the uh, on the toolbar on the side here, and let me just tell you that these top ones you're probably never going to have to touch or mess with. Uh, the, these are things like setting up radio and the radio is already set up so this is not something you'll have to worry about the auto DJ is already set up and that's why we're here we're going to show you how to set up some various auto DJ settings uh, auto DJ management auto DJ playlist manager this is probably your yeah, your, your biggest um, area to be in right here is playlist manager and then there's also the DJ manager and if I zoom in on, on the central functions here on this do that and we'll show you okay right now you can see this is the player here it comes up and it's not automatically playing which is fine then it shows you what is currently playing and then down below it shows you the previous songs or tracks that have played since uh, generally it's not songs unless it's uh, Bo or I uh, playing some some various music you don't really have to do anything with this it's just there is an informational purpose on the side here we have what is called the quick control panel and this uh, lets you see what's going on um, this here this is for the auto DJ section this is the regular radio section and since we're using the auto DJ the regular radio part only will come into play if the entire radio status is off if it is off you turn it on by clicking this you know what I have a, I have, a, I have this cool thing that I <laughs> got yesterday. <laughs> See if I can find it. Here it is. Um, I, I forgot all about this. Okay. Ooh, look at that yellow, uh, yeah, big yellow cursor. All right. So on this green button here, <laughs> that would start the entire radio. You could stop the entire radio, which I've only had to do a, f a few times since I started using the auto DJ. But other than that, those are the, the two things to worry about there. Um, occasionally, what you'll get. And let me just shut the, shut the auto DJ off for a minute. Bang. Okay, and then you'll get the little notice pop up if you turn it off. Auto DJ has been stopped. And on the other side, over here, you'll see it says radio is online and waiting for the stream. You may start now. Uh, you may start your auto DJ now. So if you ever come in here to this panel and you see that, just go ahead and click this green plus button here it'll tell you that the radio is started and then on the other side it will show you hooray it goes back and it goes back to the first track in the auto DJ playlist manager right let's right now go take a look at the auto DJ playlist manager so we'll pop this up here and you'll see this screen here that pops up it comes up let me spread this out a bit here Zoop. All right, and this is just the little window that says, all right, which playlist are we going to work with? We are using the World Truth 1 playlist. That's the, the main one that plays on the streams on both reallibertymedia.com and worldtruth.org. Now, down below, you have all these uh, buttons here to reload the playlist, up, upload new music, activate the playlist, remove the playlist. Don't ever touch that. You don't want to do that. That would be bad and refresh the list and then you look down below this and, and you have all these various tracks on here that that are up there we got 
behind the woodshed, Frickers Ball, uh, Grammys show that she does three times a week, uh, and, and so on and so forth. Now, after a period of time, when you're ready to upload some new music, um, and, and let's say Grammys recorded a new show and she's going to upload a new show, you can go ahead and delete the last one that's in there before you put the new one in, or after you put the new one in. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, and, and the only reason for that is to just not have too stale of uh, top content on the site. So then, this is the button here, the Upload New Music. Click on that button, Upload New Music, and then you'll have a deal here that says Browse, and you can browse for a file and click the Upload button. Or you can drag and drop a file right on in there. Well, let, me, let me show you how that works. I'm not going to upload one right now because all the ones that I have are already uploaded. Um, well, let's say I wanted to, to upload last week's Freakers Ball. I grab it from my, my file manager, whatever file manager you happen to use, and just drop it, bang, right in there. You just left click and drag across, and then you would click the upload. And it starts to upload your music. Now, if the file is too large, it'll look like it's uploading for a while, then it'll come back with like an error that says or not even an error it'll just like nothing happened uh, it'll come back to the screen saying Where, where's where's your deal anyway once you're done uploading that you'll get a message that says file uploaded successfully blah 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 then you can click this link here go back to manage the world truth playlist and you click on that link and it'll come down here and you'll notice after you do an upload you know what let me just upload one what the hell um, <laughs> it takes a it takes a minute, but uh, we we can delete it after we do that. Um, so I, I'll go ahead and upload last Friday's uh, Frigger's Ball, even though it's already still up there at this point in time. We'll go ahead and upload it anyway. And this is the message you get uh, right there. Um, <laughs> so we will wait, 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 wait for this to finish doing its little trick. Uh, you know, kind of boring, right? <laughs> but that's what that's the way it works. <coughs> there is another option if you're going to be uploading a bunch of files to FTP. And if you need FTP, I can set you up an FTP account on the World Truth site uh, specifically to get on into the Auto DJ directory. However, if you do that, then you still have to go into the back end here and. Uh, do some other stuff. Either way, let's not talk about that right now. Let's talk about this. Okay, successfully uploaded one file. So you go back over here to this list, and you'll see the, the brand new file I just uploaded comes up, and it says uh, track number zero. And apparently it, it, it knew that it was the same track that I had up there for track number two, so track number two is gone. Now, if you want this to... to be ordered correctly at all times what you have to do is like grab one of the, the previous files and move it up wait for the little successful thing to thing there to do its thing there and then grab the the zero one again and bring it back up to the top and yet <laughs> a little redundant I know and once you do that click the refresh the list button now if you hadn't done that if you hadn't rearranged it then brought it back to where it was when you refresh the list, nothing would happen. It would think, oh, I've, I've already got you in place. Once you've done this, though, when, once this is all taken care of, and actually, we don't want we don't want me on top anymore. We, we want Hal on top. Because uh, he was the newest, newest show, so we'll put Hal on top and refresh that list again to get back in there. Okay. So once you've done this, anytime you upload a song or delete a track or delete a track, it stops the auto DJ. So bear in mind, if somebody's on, on the air broadcasting, when you go in here to start doing this, you're going you're gonna to screw up the broadcast. So make sure nobody's on the air before you go in here and do this. Anyway, once you do this, once you get this all... Uh, arranged how you want. You got the, the the ones deleted you want, you got the ones uploaded you want, you got the right order that you want. Click the activate playlist button. 
boom. And then it'll tell you the World Truth, uh, the playlist, World Truth 1 has been successfully activated and isn't playing World Truth 1 now. And then click the home uh, link up on top there. And then once you come back to the main screen here, and let me uh, get back to my camera so I can arrange this how I want. Okay, that looks great. Okay, good. So you can see now you're back to this here, and it's showing you uh, that Hal Anthony is playing. He's the top on the line. Okay, on the slide over here, I'm going to show you how to do this now. Maybe I'm not going to show you how to do this. I'll tell you. I'll tell people separately how to do this. <laughs> how to how to add DJs. The reason I'm not going to click this is because if I do click this, it'll expose everybody's passwords, <laughs> which is not really that big a deal, but it is. I don't I don't want to do it on this video that's going to be out there for public consumption. So uh, that that'll do it. But if you do need to ever um, do that, and, and it's very self-explanatory. Anyway, if you go into the auto DJ, uh, the, not the auto DJ, the DJ manager, this this link right here, it's got a pair of headphones there on it, and you click DJ manager, you'll see exactly what to do in order to add a new DJ. It's really simple. Uh, there ain't nothing to it. So I guess that covers it. I guess that's everything that we need to know uh, for this round, this tutorial here. Like I said, bear in mind the size of the file. If it's too big, it won't upload. It'll look like it's uploading and then not upload. Don't ever try to upload or delete or rearrange songs while somebody else is broadcasting live on the air. And what else do you need to know? Those are the main points. Um, those are the main points. That's good enough. So uh, if you got any questions, just message me over there on World Truth or come on into the Real Liberty Media chat room and say hi. All right. This has been Grebner. Peace.